Hi everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be working on the craft folder um, with all the collages in, and today I believe we're up to blue. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some nice pages in here. Nice pages. Yeah, that's the one we did last, the yellow one. So yeah, here's the blue. So let's get them out. Okay. Right, so I, I want to build a belly band on this. We haven't built a belly band yet, so I thought that that might be a nice thing to do. Let's get all my stuff out of the way. So I'm going to start with a piece of card, and it really can be any card that you've got, uh, any card you want. That's a bit of a wonky side down there. And this is just probably about, I don't know, it's quarters of an inch short, um, quarter of an inch top and bottom, half an inch, something like that, short of the overall width, because I just like it when it comes in a little bit. So you can see I'm short top and bottom there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I've looked at all my collage strips, my Timmy collage strips. You can make your own, of course you can. Um, and I've shown you how to do that in the past. So that's a nice blue one there. And that's a nice one. They're more duck egg blue. I'll save those for the duck egg blue pages. That one we've already got. Yeah, I think these rest are duplicates. I believe they are duplicates. Excellent. Right. So, I like this one. I like all of this. Well, I like them all. I mean, so I could stick that on there. And then, what would I have at the top? I'd have that. Yeah, that looks nice to me. Very nice. So let's just stick those in place. I'm going to use my colour and then I can slide it right up to the edge. So I hope you're all doing well today. Today's a good day because the sun's out. I mean, it's not boiling hot, but at least it stopped raining. Honestly, I'm thinking of growing webbed feet. It's been a very, very poor summer and now I see signs of, of autumn coming. The trees are just, just beginning to turn and just other things that suggest to you that it's, it's coming up to autumn. You start seeing cobwebs and things, don't you? Um, so what can you do? Nothing you can do. You can't stop time. But I must say it doesn't feel that long ago at all since I was saying to Mr F, Oh, let's look for the first snowdrops, then let's look for the first daffodils, etc. And well, now all the heather's out on the on the fells. It's it's absolutely beautiful, but unfortunately to me it just signifies that winter's not far behind. So yeah, I love seeing the heather, but hmm, winter is a coming. The evenings are drawing in. Oh dear, I'm all doom and gloom today, aren't I? So there we are. We've got our strips down there and that's going to form our belly band. So let's just trim off. Oh, don't say I've lost my scissors as well. There's a void in this room today that's taking things away. Okay, where are the scissors? Oh, this is ridiculous. I've, I've lost a whole packet of something. 49 in market. It's just gone. And now my scissors appear to be no more either. Oh, dear me. Okay, I'll have to pause you and look for them. Aha! Uh -huh, it wasn't me going mad. Mr F had them over on his desk. So, yeah, that's that's made me feel a little bit better. Honestly, I thought I was going to do there. Yeah. Well, more do lally, you know. So I'm just cutting this off up level with the edge of the collage strips. So do the same, whether you're using Timmy's or you've made your own. Just um, give them, because on their own, they're not very substantive. 
So there we have it. That can go back in that pile. And that's just a scrap, a remnant that can go there. So now I'm going to just ink around it. And I've got some new non-slip background. Black this time. Mr. F found it in one of the cheap pound shops or whatever. Um, so that's good because my other one was looking positively, well, positively dirty. This you'll find is a very easy page, uh, straightforward. No, there is some layering, of course, there's layering. It wouldn't be mine if it wasn't layered, but limited. But yet I think it looks really nice. So that's that. Let's stick that on there. And I wanted about cent central-ish. So where's my little quilting ruler? About two inches in. Yeah, that looks all right to me. Okay, so I'm going to hold that there at two inches. And <laughs> I managed to trap my thing in. And put some glue on either end and glue it in place. There we are. Right, so I'll hold this at two inches. Put that up to it. Half an inch top and bottom, like that, I'd say. That's about right, and press that down. Lovely. Helps if you've got more than two hands, actually, I would think, but I don't have more than two hands, so I'll use what I've got. Does that look straight? I'm not sure it does. What does that measure at the top? It measures two. What does it measure at the bottom? Touch over two, but a sixteenth or something. It'll be fine. It will be okay. Right, next thing I want is... Yeah, this is the other thing that I've lost. I've got a whole package of blue frames. I don't know where they've gone. Blue frames and blue bits and pieces so I'm going to have to improvise so I've got a piece of white card that measures three and a half by two and a quarter and it's up to you make your background any way you wish I'm just going to put some of these um, 49 and market splotchy things that I've got I've got them in blue so that's what I'm going to use, seeing as it's our blue page. And just take that off the back end and pop it on. That will be fine, I think. Then just get my tweezers. Just rub that all over. It might take a minute or two to do this because it's quite a big area, really. Yeah, I have searched high and low. I had them this morning when I was doing my prototype one. And where are they now? I do not know. I've had everything out of the 49er market drawer. They're not there. Searched my desk up and down. Not there. I don't know. So annoying when you lose things, isn't it? And I've been really quite good since we had the major clear up. I've been really good at putting stuff away. But that was still in use. It's disappeared. I don't know where it's gone. There we go. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That's very nice. I like that. Um, put that away. Lovely. That can go in the bin. That's, yeah, they can go in the bin. Right, okay, so I'm just going to quickly ink around that, but I don't want heavy inking on it. I like that blue and white clean look that we're getting with this, actually. There we go. 
so that's enough it's, it's inked but that's all so I'm gonna stick that about there and then I've got this little 49 and market frame now I've shown you plenty times how to make your own frames so if you don't have the 49 and market uh, thing don't worry just make your own and I think I had that there and then I've got this but I did use a butterfly on the other one and it looked nice I wonder if I should have that hanging over the other side with that there hmm I don't know I don't know I don't know I do like it it's pretty just wondering whether that might look this is me thinking <laughs> I'm thinking thinking put that there that there coming out over the edge and then that there. it's quite nice isn't it? don't know don't know don't know I'm, I'm still I still want to go with this I think like that and that that like that I don't want it dangling over the white particularly because it's quite fragile yeah I think that's it I like it like that excellent so let's stick this on Not putting any acetate or anything behind it. There's nothing going behind it, so should be okay. Um, let's go in. Let me just check I haven't got glue where I don't want glue. So let's go in there like that, sticking out over the edges. Yeah, I've got a load of glue there that I don't want, so let's just wipe that off. Must get myself a clean clean towel this is getting a bit a bit grubby oh stuck at the wrong no no honestly girl get a grip get a grip right so that's going there and then we're going to stick that onto there yeah that's fine and I like it I like it so that's all that matters to me well it's not really I hope you you lot like it as well this is a good, great page for those of you that are just behind a little bit because you can keep up, no bother. It's a quick page. It's even quicker if you don't lose what you want to use. Lose it or use it. I was about to use it and I still lost it. <gasps> However... There we go, right. So let's just stick that there, lovely. I mean, you could use a complementary color if you wanted. Yellow would go nice with it. Uh, orange would go very nice. I just wanted to use those blue flowers, I like them. Right, so now I've got to make my best guess as to where I need to glue this back piece down. So I think it's about there to about there probably something like that so that's there and stick that on straight make sure it's straight there we go And that is pretty much that with regards to the the actual collage. But doesn't it look pretty? 
it's just a lovely page that I love it because I, I was struggling on with what else I could add to the collage to make it uh, look nicer and I couldn't find anything so I said to Mr. F, what do you want to think of this and he said well I like it as it is you don't have to over egg the pudding is what he said I'm just going to put my ruler in under here just to make sure I haven't stuck this <laughs> down to the page because it wouldn't be much of a belly band if I did would it right so now we just need the journaling card to go behind and what I am going to use is this which is packaging from uh, 49 in market I just need to actually this is the packaging from the pack I'm missing hmm that might give me a clue then because it's obviously not in a pack with a back on right so that's about the right yeah it's about the right height that's good luck rather than good measuring or anything. And I want it a little bit less. I want it to come to about, about there. So let's trim that off. Ah, oh, what's that I've just got on it? Oh no. Oh my goodness, it's come off. It's very shiny, this. Which is a bless. I don't know where I've picked that up from, I'm sure. Oh dear. That could have been so nasty. So let's just trim that off a bit there. So this card now measures... six and a half by four and a quarter and it's going to go in in there like that which I think looks very nice but I'm going to add to it somewhat I looked at this frame which is also 49 in market and isn't that gorgeous I love it I really love it but I also looked at this frame and actually, I really like the two together. It's gorgeous, just like you're looking out of a French door, Louvre door sort of thing. I really like that. So I'm going to throw caution to the wind and use them both. Yeah, I like that. OK, I'm a bit dubious now. I'm worried that I've got um, black ink somewhere. I don't know where. So I'm going to stick it on with my EVA glue, which is pretty similar to art glitter glue. Or if you're in the UK, pink frog cell EVA glue. And it's it's very good. It's, it, it's similar in its sticking powers to PVA, but PVA's got a lot of water in. Some of the cheaper ones have got loads of water in. And of course, then when you put it on thin paper, it cockles them. And I was just a bit too sick of that um, happening to me. So got Mr. F on the case and he came up with EVA, which is just a much better glue. I need to move that up to about there. Are we straight? Are we square? Yeah, I believe so. Well, we were until I just moved it. Okay, that's fine. It's sliding around on this because it's so, so shiny, but it will stick. It'll be fine. So that's the first frame, which looks lovely as it is. You don't have to add the second one. I just really like it. So I'm going to add that as well. Come on. There you go. Okay, this is just going to be a little bit more fiddly 
to glue but not too bad just takes a little minute because you don't want masses on it because it'll just splodge out and it'll look awful there's just this little bit at the bottom there we go now let's see if we can get this lined up somehow I'm going to have to pick it up and look at it I think I think that's okay there yeah, I reckon that's okay. So I'm going to carefully pat that down, not move it around like I did with the big frame. There we go. That is so pretty. Just simple, simple, but so pretty. Um, and I'm just going to lightly ink around it. I'm not going to take the corners off on this one because the frame corners are square and I think it would look wrong if the card was rounded and the frame corners were still square. So there we are, it's just a little bit of ink around it. And that is, what's that there, no. And that is gonna go in there like that. which I think, I'm, I'm pleased with this collage. I really like it, I love the way it looks. So there we have it. So, so simple. So let's put this back in this file. There we have it. So no Timmy Peeps, no huge flowers. No leaves, nothing, just that. So let's have a look at the one I did as a prototype. There we go. So, yeah, you can see I had the, this is what I've lost, these frames. And I put a butterfly on this one, um, which, which is, considering that's really the only difference, it's really changed it up. Uh, and this one is a, a smaller one because I only had one frame left. That's packaging as well. And just put a single frame on there and I backed it. And uh, once I get off here, I'll back that one as well, just so you can journal in it, you know. So it's so the next page coming up is green. Oh my goodness, that's the last thing. So it's green on this one and red green and red and then on this one there's green I don't think it's red yeah it's duck egg blue so yeah and then after all that's done I like that after all that is done then we have to somehow make a front and I have an idea about what I'm going to do about that so I'll share that with you when we get closer to the time so there's our two craft files coming along beautifully I think. So I'll see you again very soon. Just a quickie today. Bye for now.